everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener here. I'm with my daughter, Allie. my 12 year old daughter, Allie. Uh, and one of the great things about being a gardener is teaching your kids how to garden. Now, she's not gotten bitten by the bug like I have, and she'd rather be doing something else but gardening. But uh, all of us have to teach it to our kids and how to eat healthy. So, as part of her science experiment this year, uh, she's going to be doing an experiment. Let me tell you what we're going to be doing here. And I'll track this on my Executive Gardener channel and I'll show you the results. But this is the first video because we're prepping for the experiment. And let me tell you what we're going to do. So we're going to grow four tomato plants. So let me give you a close up of this. There's four tomato seedlings in fabric grow pots. These are three, fa three gallon fabric grow pots. And the hypothesis is whether, uh, whether the tomato plant grows better, produces more fruit, healthier, with compost than uh, with miracle Grow. okay? So it's actually a question, not the hypothesis. So does a tomato plant grow better with organic compost that's been sitting in my compost bin for a while, let me show what it looks like, or does it grow better with miracle Grow? Now I know some of you who watch my channel are probably cringing because you hate miracle Grow. But I've always wondered myself, is it better to use synthetic fertilizer or regular organic compost? So we'll take a look at that. So let me show you what we're going to do. I'm going to mix my compost up in two different parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this three-gallon pot, uh, pot and we're going to mix it up with potting mix, which already has nutrients in it. Half of that and half of the organic compost, which came from the bin, which is in here. And then uh, half is with worm compost, which is all castings in here, okay? So we're gonna mix two of them up. There's a small plant, tomato plant, and a large tomato plant for each. Two of them, the small and large, will get miracle Grow treatment uh, every few weeks, and the other will just have the compost. And we're gonna run this through six weeks. So it's October 1st now, and we have to test the question by November 15th. So we'll show you the results. Does miracle Grow do better for a plant or does organic compost? So let us get the plants prepared with what the, the materials we showed you about. We'll come back and show you. Okay, so here you have it. You have the pots that are all, excuse me, the fabric bags are all planted up. So the two on this side are uh, pure compost. And I forgot to mention up front, I apologize. So the compost is a mix of three things. It's a uh, kitchen scrap compost that we've composted down. Two, worm compostings, also known as worm castings. And also three, um, rabbit pellet compost. So what that is, is we discard the rabbit pellets in the back. We stack it up with hay and it composts together. So those three are together in these two, okay? And mixed with the um, same potting mix. So on these two, uh, these two right here, these use typical miracle Grow, okay? Uh, and uh, from the first watering today, and you see there's saucers underneath each of them, we're going to apply the miracle Grow to these two, and we're going to actually do it every week, okay, once a week. For these, we're just going to apply water, okay, these two, because they already have the compost in it and the nutrients the plant should need. So that's the start of the video. It's going to be a uh, fun video, fun experiment. I'm actually curious myself to see how three forms of compost in the right two compare to the miracle Grow and these two. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'll give an update probably three weeks into it and then at the end of six weeks and show you what each of these tomato plants, and I think they're better bush in case you want to know, four better bush tomato plants. Okay, that's it. Uh, Allie and my daughter and I will get these watered up and we'll catch back with you in three weeks.